Okay, so there's all kinds of advice about creating a digital product and how to sell it and how to do it and how to create it and how to whatever. And uh, my channel is full of that advice as well, but nobody's really telling you how to sell these in the right way. Remember, just last video, I talked about how it's not just just a crazy easy thing that you throw up on Etsy and your life is better. <laughs> you actually have to work and build an audience and do the things to make a digital product work for you. So today, we're gonna talk about what you need to do to sell a digital product really well. Hey, howdy, hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jessica, and I'm pumped that you're here. If you're old here, I'm also pumped that you're here. We're, we're, just, we're just talking lots of things about digital products these days, and that's okay. I love it, y'all know that. And just to show y'all that I'm not like lying to you, this these are text messages that I've gotten today, just this morning, it's 11 o'clock a.m., about digital products that I have sold, like all of these texts. So um, yeah, it's real, it's a thing, but it's not a real thing the way a lot of people are teaching it. And I've beat that horse to death, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more today and really tell you how to sell these things in the right way. Oh wait, before I do that, um, I'm hosting a paid workshop, no fluff, no sales pitch, like, a paid workshop that's basically a masterclass. It's basically a course, but I'm hosting it live. It's $47 and I'm going to teach you how to create a digital product that makes a hundred dollars a day or more on autopilot. So we're really going to go through what digital products you could create. What is perfect for your business? Like which type of business needs which type of digital product or which type of business you want to build needs which type of digital product. And then, how to actually create a system that those things sell on autopilot mm, is gonna be awesome. No fluff, no sales pitches, just awesomeness. Again, it's $47. It's going down like super soon. When you see this video, it's on a Sunday. We will be doing this class on a Wednesday on June 28th. And there's only 200 spots available and we've sold a metric poop ton of them. So. Uh, make sure you save your seat if you want to do that. Go to heyjessica.com forward slash digi product workshop. I'll make sure that's linked below too, but heyjessica.com forward slash digi, D-I-G-I, product workshop. And in there, we're going to learn all the things. It's basically a course in a live class. So it's going to be awesome. Okay. If you want to create and sell digital products like crazy and create ones that sell like crazy, that you really don't have to do a lot of work to sell, there's a few things that you need to know. Number one, you need to stop thinking about digital products as a get rich quick thing. Oh my gosh, just this morning. Just this morning I saw a creator on TikTok who was like, everybody's talking about digital products but nobody's showing you how to create them. Let me show you how to create them. You're gonna use Canva and then you're gonna go to ChatGPT and then you're gonna pop all this up on Etsy. No! That's not how it works, y'all. Somebody was able to do that in a very specific niche, in a very specific way, before the markets got saturated. For the most part, if you are wanting to make good money with a digital product, you have got to be building an audience full of people who want it. You've got to understand that you are the reason they're buying this digital product from you. And you've got to stop thinking it's just this like create it and pop it up on Etsy thing because I promise you that doesn't work. So stop thinking about digital products as a get rich quick thing. That's step number one. Step number two, you need a niche. Now, mm, y'all know me. <laughs> y'all know me. I'm not big on niching. And by niching, I mean traditional niching. Traniching? Trinitian? Sure, we'll go with it. What I mean by that is in a traditional niche, you're only talking about one topic ever or one like really small area of topics. So you're only ever going to talk about home decor or you're only ever going to talk about Apple products or you're only ever going to talk about digital products. And that kind of thing sets us up for failure for a couple reasons. One, we're gonna get really burnt out and get really tired of talking about the same damn thing over and over and over again. Uh, can I get an amen? But also, it makes us very like one dimensional and it's really not what you should be focusing on when you think about a niche. A niche is still a slice of the pie, but it's more about the person you're talking to than the thing you're talking about. So in order to be successful with digital products, you have to have a niche 
a group of people that you are trying to help in some way, shape or form. And then what was really cool about this niche being the person instead of the topic is that you have an infinite number of digital products you can create under that for that person to help them with a specific subset of things. Let's say instead of just talking about camera gear, like reviewing camera gear and telling people what camera gear is good and bad and blah, blah, blah. You're going to flip that and you're going to think about the who, because if you're just talking about camera gear, you're very limited with the digital products you could create. You could create like guides for certain cameras, like quick start guides. You could create LUTs for people to use with certain footage, that kind of thing. But you're kind of limited because the people only know you for one thing. But if you really think about your niche being the amateur videographer or the person just getting started on YouTube or the advanced videographer, then you have a lot more things you can talk about underneath that and a lot more digital products you could create because it's not just specifically about one topic. So you need a niche, but it needs to be a who niche, not a what niche. Okay. And it needs to be pretty specific, especially in the beginning. If you don't have an audience yet, if you are trying to grow a digital product business and you do not yet have an audience, this can't just be like all business owners. Like it, it just can't. Okay. You've got to get really specific with it. You can niche out later, but right now it has to be pretty specific. Third thing you need is a problem that they have that you want to solve for them. <laughs> So you need to identify a problem that they currently have that you can help them solve with a digital product. So for instance, I sell ClickUp templates in my digital product shop. And so for me, that person is learning ClickUp, has come over to ClickUp, has decided to use ClickUp and is, you know, getting into it, but it all feels very overwhelming. And a $5 ClickUp template is going to help them shortcut their way to having a space where they can plan out their YouTube videos or having a space where they can manage their team. And so it's a no brainer. That was a problem I could solve for them. Another digital product that I have is my Your First Digital Product Guide, which is full of like trainings and templates and toolkits and all the things to help you create your first digital product. And this is literally a digital product. Like when you download it, it's a workbook. And then there are clickable links off to video lessons and there are clickable links to templates and it's a digital product. Okay. And with that, I am solving the very specific problem that people have seen the light <laughs> and have seen digital products and want to create them, but they don't know how. And so I'm solving that problem for them. That's also what my live class is solving. It's solving that same problem right? Some people prefer to learn from a workbook and some people prefer to learn from a class. So that's why it's okay for me to have two. But either way, you have to have and find a problem that they currently have that you can solve. Okay. That's number three. Number four, you need to create that solution as a digital product. The thing that so many people miss is that they think these digital products are just like these quick quippy things that you just like throw out in the world and they're they're kind of um, afterthoughts or they're kind of not important, but they should provide a solution to someone's problem or at least a partial solution to a partial problem, right? Like they should be a solution to something. And if they're not, they're not going to sell. That's why things like phone backgrounds, things like that aren't the best selling digital products you could do because, you know, honestly, people don't care. Like some people care, but most people don't. And it's not actually solving a problem. Whereas if you can create a template or you can create a workbook or a lesson of some sort to help somebody through something, then you're giving them a solution to the problem that they have. And, and what's key here, okay, is that you sell the solution y'all. So many people, so many people will get into marketing their digital product and they'll be talking about the digital product. Like, get this workbook that's going to help you do X, Y, Z, right? Like it's going to bullet point these things. And that is not what you should be selling. You should be selling the solution to the problem that they have. It doesn't matter the vehicle in which they're going to get that solution. They're going to be sold on that once you sell them the solution. So in your marketing, you have to know what the solution is, or you're not going to be able to sell these digital products super well. All right. Fifth thing you need to create digital products that sell like crazy. And this one is um, a no brainer, but sometimes a brainer, especially the way people teach digital products these days. You need an audience. Y'all, I'm sorry. 
You cannot be successful selling digital products if you do not have an audience. You don't have to have a massive audience, but the bigger the audience, the better. The bigger the audience, the more people who are going to buy your thing. You need to be building an audience full of the people in your niche who have the problem that you wanna solve for them so that you can sell them the solution. Do you see how this all works together? This is also why just creating crap that ChatGPT tells you to create and then throwing it up on Etsy does not work. There's no loyalty to that. Somebody's just going to Etsy and like finding something. And for some industries that may work, but after a while they're gonna get so saturated that you're gonna be like, oh wow, this worked really well five months ago, but now it doesn't work. And now I have to go out and build an audience when if you would have been building an audience from the jump, you wouldn't have to be backtracking right now. And just made another sale. Um, <laughs> That is because I have an audience, y'all. I have an audience, I've built an audience full of the people that I wanna talk to. They have a certain problem, I have a certain solution, and this all goes round and round like crazy. So if you have been watching videos about digital products and you're like, I've tried it, or maybe it seems too good to be true the way these people are talking about it, I hope this like busts some myths for you and you can really focus on these five things that you need to actually be successful. You need to stop thinking it's a freaking get rich quick thing. Two, you need a niche. Three, you need a problem that they have, that that niche has. You need to create the solution and you need to build an audience full of those people. Like, that's what you need. Let me just pause right here and say that while it's not a get rich quick thing, you can absolutely do this if you're starting from zero or you are trying to get this done really fast. I have seen people skyrocket with digital products, like be able to start building their audience and then skyrocket with digital products in a really, really short amount of time, um, which by the way is really what I'm going to teach you in this live class. Again, it's $47. I'm going to teach you how to build this whole system out, be able to build an audience really fast who wants your stuff and create the perfect digital product for them. Um, so if you want to join me on that, I'd love to have you in just a few days. It is $47 and we're running out of seats. So definitely go like get it now at heyjessica.com forward slash digi product workshop. We're going to hang out live. There's going to be a live Q and A. It's going to be so much freaking fun. All right. Uh, that's all. Let me know if you have questions about digital products below. I'm loving creating these videos all about digital products, especially busting the myths that are out there. So let me know. Bye y'all.